Sa mga kaasa ng suporta, ang tiga-industriya mula sa tatlo ko pang kasamahan, kabilang rin sa entertainment industry, sina Senators Bong Revilla Jr., Robin Hood Padilla, at Manuel Lito Lapid. At pati na rin ang anak nag ng nag-iisang hari ng pelikulang Pilipino at dating MTRCB Chairman na si Senator Grace Po. Hindi po ako nagpapakabayani o nagpapabida sa isyong ito. Pagkos, ang tanging hangat ko lamang ay mapanatili at mapalawak pa ang maoportunidad sa industriyang nananatiling malapit sa akin at patuloy ko na pinapalagan hanggang sa ngayon. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong pakikinig at mabuhay ang pelikulang Pilipino. And before that, I would like to advise my colleagues that I will entertain interpolations of any after the sponsorship of uh, Senator Sarangana. Thank you. Yes, thank you. thank you, Mr. President. Thank you to our distinguished colleague, Senator uh, Estrada. Uh, uh, Mr. President, uh, Senator Bong Revilla would like to make a short manifestation and Mr. be recognized, Mr. President. Yes, Senator Bong Revilla of the great province of Cavite is recognized. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, just a short manifestation. Maari ding uh, sumagot ang aking kaibigan for a few questions. Okay, uh, ginawang Pangulo, alam naman po nating lahat na kami ni Senator Jingo Estrada, Senator Lito Lapid, Senator Robin Hood Padilla, maging si Senator Grace Po ay galing sa industriya ng pelikulang Pilipino. In fact, uh, uh, records of the Senate will bear that I have been consistent on attributing where I am today to the local entertainment industry. Ito po ang bumuhay sa akin at sa aking pamilya sa mahabang panahon at hanggang ngayon. Kaya naman tulad po ng uh, senator natin mula sa San Juan, napakalapit po talaga, talaga ang industriya ito sa aming puso at italagang ipaglalaban namin. Kaya takoy nalungkot nung uh, nabas ang aking kaibigan Regarding the K-drama banning in, the, in our country, yun po ay uh, siguro na misinterpret lamang. Pero ang talagang hangarin niya ay tulungan ang industriya ng pelikulang Pilipino at maging telebisyon. Wala pong masama doon. Wala pong ibaban si Senator Jingoy. Ang gusto niya ay tulungan ang industriya ng pelikulang Pilipino at maging telebisyon. This is why I share the sorrow and concern of the good gentleman over the present state of our industry. Mr. President, noon ay uh, may hindi bababa sa apat na pelikula ang naglalaban-laban sa opening day kada linggo. With all modesty, uh, sa pagbubukas po ng pelikula ni FPJ, ni, ni Rudy Fernandez, ni Philip Salvador, ni Vilma Santos, Sharon Cuneta, Noro Honor, maging po si Senator Jingoy, pelikula ni Robin Padilla, maging po ang inyong lingkod, hindi naman po sa pagyayabang, iniiwasan po kami ng mga foreign films. More than 100 theaters nilalabas ang aming pelikula sa kada linggo. Maging, uh, oh yeah, of course, yes, yeah, Senator uh, Lito Lapid, lalo na. Yung mga superstars po, mga kababayan, Si Leon Guerrero. Those were the days not so long ago. At hindi nga po kaila na naging matamlay ang industriya lalo pat nga itong pinadapa ng pandemya. Talagang nakakalungkot mga, mga, mga kababayan. The entertainment industry may, may very well be considered as a frontliner especially uh, during the pandemic. Through television and streaming, people were provided with the escape when we were all locked up in our homes, dreading the uncertainty. Ganun pa man, doble din ang hagupit ng pandemya sa kanila. The pandemic gave us a looking glass into the true state of the entertainment industry and how much it needs to be rehabilitated. Ang kailangan ng industriya ay konkretong mga plano na damang tulong upang manumbalik ang sigla nito. Katulad lamang ng mga binanggit ng aking uh, kumpadre Senator Jingoy kung paano tutugunan ang pangangailangan ng industriya ng pelikulang Pilipino. Kailangan pong maibalik natin ang aral muli sa ating mga
kababayang Pilipino, lalong-lalo na sa mga kabataan, kailangan natin silang uh, uh, bigyan ng aral o suporta pa. Kaya po mga kababayan, one of my priority bills sa Senate Bill number 28 on the revival of the Philippine Movie Industry Act, and I also recently filed Senate Bill 1409 on the Philippine Film Industry. I hope that with the uh, shepherding of our chairperson, ang uh, ating pong uh, chairman is Senator Robin Hood Padilla ng, uh, ng uh, intellectual, uh, uh, ano to? Uh, mass, uh, intellect, public information and mass media. Siya pong chairman ngayon. I'm sure uh, talaga yung puso niya nandito rin. Sabi nga, kung hindi po dahil sa industriya ito, walang jingoy, walang erap, Walang Robin, walang Bong Rebilla, walang Grace po. Kaya po mga kababayan po, inihiling namin na sana tayo magtulungan. Our colleagues, sana po suporta natin, ibangon natin ang industriya ng pelikulang Pilipino at maging telebisyon. Maraming salamat po. Thank you very much. Majority Leader, may I weigh in also on the... Yes, Mr. President. Just for two minutes, yes, with Mr. the permission President. of my colleagues. Uh, I... Co I uh, Sympathize with distinguished colleague Senator Jingo Estrada. As a matter of fact, today or yesterday, in interview ako ng media, meron ako isang statement to promote the Philippines. At binash ako ng binash. I did not believe that I would receive such negative reaction from the public. This is exactly what I said. I appeal to the media, tulungan nyo naman kami pagandahin ang imahe ng Pilipinas. Diba? Minamahal natin ang ating bansa. Hindi ko maintindihan, may mga thousands of negative comments. Ang punto ko dyan, and I commensurate with all of you, is it too much to ask that we help promote our country? Is it too much to ask our kababayans to help promote our country? I can't believe the amount of negativity that one statement would bring. As a matter of fact, yung gustong Layunin ni Senator Jingoy, buhayin yung pelikulang Pilipino na sariling atin. At siya po'y ina... hindi ambon. Siya'y pinaliguan na katakot-takot ng negative comments. Ako nga, ang iniing ko lang, apela, hindi po ako nag-order. I'm not ordering. I'm appealing to media to help the image of our country. Is that too much to ask? When we go abroad, we see the beautiful imagery of Thailand, of of uh, Malaysia, of all these other countries that, you know, are not even as democratic as us. We are more democratic as a nation as compared to our neighbors with due respect to them. Ako, I will not dignify their negative comments. I will continue to fight for our country. I will continue to believe in our country. And I will continue to promote our country as much as I can. I want to be a patriot and I will be a patriot. For those haters, please join me. Let us be patriotic for our country once in a while. Let us fight for our country. Marami salamat, Majority Leader. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, we share the sentiments of our uh, distinguished colleagues, Mr. President. And uh, I think it's just but proper for all of us to have a free flow of ideas, Mr. President, and uh, we, uh, we, we, we feel the, uh, the uh, sentiments of our uh, dear colleague, Senator Jingoy, that uh, whenever you are uh, in this August chamber, we are always free to uh, express our uh, ideas and aspirations. We are agreeing to disagree in so many issues, and that's the uh, essence of democracy. And that's how we get the best among uh, ourselves, the best uh, uh, ideas among our uh, colleagues. So, Mr. President, at this juncture, may I uh, also move that the distinguished gentleman from uh, Bicol, uh, Senator Robin Hood Padilla be recognized for his uh, manifestation. And also raising his hand is the gentleman from Cavite. After yes, afterwards, Senator Mr. Robin. President. Thank you. Marami salamat po uh, atin pong pinunong Maruya. Uh, isang magandang hapon po sa inyo, mga mahal na ginoong taga-Pangulo. Napakaganda po ng inyong uh, nabigkas ng mga uh, salita 
Ito po'y nakakapagpataba ng uh, puso ng lahat Salamat. ng mga Pilipino. Salamat, Sir Robin. Ako po ay uh, nagbibigay po guys sa uh, buong lupon ng Senado at uh, ako po ay uh, taas noo at uh, nagpupugay din sa atin pong kasama na si Senador Jingo Estrada at kay Senador Bong Ribilla. Uh, tunay po ang kanilang sinabi. Ano? Nung panahon po namin, talagang uh, masasabi po namin na kahit na kami po ay puno takti ng tax, kaliwat ka ng tax, kami po ay nagbabayad. Uh, ang artista, ang mga producer, uh, kami po ay buong puso na nagbabayad sapagkat napakalaki po ng kinikita namin nung panahon na yun. Ngayon po, uh, na, sa sinabi po ng aking mga kasamang senador, ngayon po ay na, nasa punto na lugmok, na lugmok ang industriya. At ang uh, hinihingi po namin sana ay magkaroon po ng suspensyon sa mga tax na ito. Ang dami po namin tax na binabayaran. Uh, may amusement tax, uh, puno lahat po ng klase ng tax nandun na. Uh, sana po dumating po ang punto na kami po ay uh, ma makapag ma mabigyan ng industriya na makahinga lamang. Makahinga. Hindi naman po namin sinasabi na suspindihin to ng totally. Gano English yun. Ha? <laughs> ano lang po, kahit pansamantala lang. Opo. Alam niyo po, ginoong Pangulo, napakaganda po nung sinabi ninyo eh. Pag ako tinanong, Sinasabi ng lahat, ah, hindi, nagbiru lang ako. Sabi ko, mas gwapo ako sa mga Koreano. Nabastin po ako. Sabi ko, aba, pambihira ito ah. Pero isa lang ang masasabi ko. Kapag merong nagsabi sa akin, mas may gaganda si Pilipina, ah, hindi ako papayag. Walang pinakamaganda, kundi Pilipina. Ah. Oo. Eh, Amen. Po. At walang pinakamabango. Ito po. Ginong Pangulo, alam naman po natin, ngayon, pag binuksan po natin ng Netflix, Netflix po ah, lahat ng lahat po ng online, makikita po natin, alam ko po, maintindihan niyo po ako dahil martial artist po kayo. Makikita niyo po dyan ang mga palabas ng Thailand, ng Indonesia, ng Malaysia, lahat po yan, meron silang martial artist na artista. Mahal na Tangka Pangulo, alam naman po natin na walang pinakamagaling na martial artist kundi Pinoy. Nakikita po natin yan sa UFC, sa, sa 1FC, ang nagtachampion dyan. Mga lakay, talaga mga Pinoy. At ang si Bruce Lee mismo, si Bruce Lee mismo, eh, pinamana niya ang Jeet Kune Do sa Pilipino, kay Dan Inusanto. Inusanto. Si Magellan, tinepok ng Pilipino yan. Tama. Tayo po ang pinakamagaling. Ang hindi ko po matanggap, bakit wala sa Netflix ang Pilipino martial artist? Siguro panahon na po para suportahan din natin ang isang artista na magpo-promote ng Filipino martial arts. Pasikatin po natin ito sapagkat tayo mga Pilipino tunay na martial artist. Sana po suportahan ng ating uh, gobyerno na magkaroon po tayo ng pelikula na magsusuporta at magpapakita ng Filipino martial arts. Yun lamang po, mahal na taga-pangulo, maraming salamat po. At muli po, sinusundang ko po ang hakbang ni Senator Jingo Estrada at ni Senator Bong Ribilla. Maraming salamat po. Maraming salamat, Ginoong uh, Senator Robin Padilla. Totoo po yan, uh, Senator. Alam nyo, manood po kayo ng uh, action films, mga James Bond, manood po kayo ng uh, Jason Bourne, manood po kayo ng... Uh, Mission Impossible. Ang ginagamit po nila mga fighting techniques dyan ay FMA, which is Filipino Martial Arts, Stick Fighting and Knife Fighting. Pero hindi po na-acknowledge yan. At meron na nga po mga bansa na sinasabi kanila na daw po yan. So dapat i-promote natin yan as a brand. Filipino Martial Arts as a brand. Because talagang inumpisa niya nila pulapu. Yan pong aming idolo sa Filipino Martial Arts ay sila pulapu. Ako ay isang ayon dyan. Eh, ba dapat siguro makap Mag, mag ano po kami magambag po kami dito para gumawa ka ng pelikula Senator Robin Padilla promote natin yung FMA pugay pugay uh, we'd like to Mr. recognize President. the gentleman from Cavite Senator Mr. President it's just Ayos. a point of information on on the statements made by uh, 
the gentleman from Bicol. Uh, at saka tungkol din po ito sa inyo, no? I'd like to be educated kasi tinawag po kayo ng ginoong maruya. Eh, ang alam ko sa maruya, pritong, pritong... Ah, mayoria, mayoria po yan, mayoria. Kasi ang rinig namin lahat, ano? Mayoria, mayoria. Bago ba yun? Kasi alam ko, pritong saging yun. Pinunong mayoria. Okay, let's calm down, ha? Order, please, order. Sorry po. Okay. That was just a uh, no, uh, uh, mistake on the part of uh, of Senator Robin. I am always willing to be educated. Kasi yes. sabi ko, baka naman may... So gusto ko malaman dahil ba matamis kayo o para ba kayong pinitrito sa mantika? Yun yung gusto ko malaman. Yung yes, anak, lahat kami yeah. mali ang rinig. Puno mayor yan. Yung tawa nung nasa likod ko, kaya hindi ko kayo marinig. Salamat po, nililiwanag ko lang. Thank you po. Wala po akong kinalaman sa Maruya, Mr. President. Pero masarap po yan pag sinausaw sa suka. Yes, uh, Senator Tolentino. Na miss din natin si uh, Ramon Zamora, Mr. President. By yes, sir. Uh, Mr. President, may I be allowed to... Uh, may I move that we recognize the distinguished gentleman from Cavite, Senator Francis Tolentino? Before we do that, uh, let's have a little bit of order in the session floor, in the session hall. Uh, yes, uh, the distinguished gentleman from Cavite is recognized. Thank you, Mr. President. I likewise join, through a simple manifestation, the advocacies of our colleague, Senator Jingo Estrada. Although I was not mentioned, Mr. President, that uh, for a short and brief period of time, I, I was part of the movie industry, but not as an actor, Mr. President. I was the one who organized the first ever gross, highest gross record-breaking Metro Manila Film Festival. A modesty aside, it, it grossed more than a million pesos. And I recall, billion. Mr. President, billion, billion, with uh, Senator Gachalian as one of the mayors of Metro Manila. And I think uh, Senator Estrada was still a mayor then of San Juan. Uh, no longer. Oh, the good one was, um, was the mayor of, uh, of, of San Juan. <laughs> but, 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 Mr. Mr. President, seriously, Mr. President, I agree that there is a need to overhaul existing subsidies being given to the local film industry. Mr. President, for the record, Colombia would provide 60% cash rebate just to have international film production outfits produce films in Colombia. Fiji, 50% cash rebate. Canada, 30 to 70 percent cash tax rebate. Mr. President, including the small country of Dominican Republic. Pag nag-shooting ka sa Dominican Republic, you will be given a 25 percent transferable tax on all development, pre-production, production and post-production expenses incurred in the Columbia, Dominican Republic. Sa antin po, Mr. President, walang ganon. Nung araw po, Mr. President, nung bata-bata pa tayo, Yung Abinida Rizal, yung Iskolta, nandyan po lahat ang sinihan. Nandyan po lahat siya. Nakikita po natin yan. Yung, yung uh, State Chatter, yung Lord's Chatter, etc., etc. Inab inabot po yan ni Senator Jingoy. Kaya po nararamdaman po natin lahat yung uh, dinadanas niya na nabas siya. At sa palagay ko po, Mr. President, dapat matulungan natin mabuhay ang local film industry, not just through a short Film Festival. Dapat po year-round na, Mr. President. When I was Metro Manila Film Festival Chairman, Mr. President, I initiated the Cell Phone Film Festival. Sa cell phone na lang to, to entice college students, high school students to show they, their creativity, Mr. President. Mag-produce sila ng sariling pelikula. Kaya nga through this manifestation, Mr. President, perhaps the, the good chairperson of the... Uh, Mass Media Committee can craft, and I, I'm more than willing to assist him, a bill that would overhaul, enhance the local film industry, similar to Potsdam in Germany, Mr. President, where they have their own small place, similar to Bollywood in India, where they have a place where they encourage new actors, new startup film 
outputs, out, 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 uh, production, out, uh, outfits. outfits to produce with government incentives, tax rebates, at katulong na rin po yung mga LGUs. Katulong na rin po yung mga LGUs. I, I look at the model, Mr. President, of Croatia. Croatia, Mr. President, uh, and even the place you visited last month, France. France has 30% tax rebate of qualified expenditures for international productions. Ang huli lang po nating na-filmata dito kung hindi ako nagkakamali, Mr. President, ay yung Born Legacy. Born Legacy. Napakatagal na po nun. Hindi na po nasundan yun. We have to encourage this. So that's why I support the, the speech. I, I joined the uh, feelings right now being bashed. Senator Jingoy, and it's about time that we overhaul through tax incentives and other creative measures our local film industry. Maraming salamat po, Mr. President. And just two points to add to that, uh, Majority Leader. I filed one, uh, uh, I think it was the 17th Congress, a bill, sana matulungan ako ng ating mga kasamaan dito sa uh, industriya ng pili uh, uh, Pilipino, Nagawin at least kung hindi natin kaya gawin year round, gawin natin twice a year yung MMF Manila Film Festival MFF, which is uh, basically December, di ba December po yan, at dapat merong summer, middle of the year, para at least dalawa, para sa ganon ay medyo mabubuhay na konti ng ating uh, uh, pel pelikulang Pilipino. And uh, pangalawa, it all boils down to nationalism, yung nationalismo, yung gusto natin tangkiling ng sarili nating Produkto. Kaya nga sabi ko sa kanila, sabi ko kanina, let's promote the Philippines. Part and parcel of promoting the Philippines yan. Kung hindi maganda emahe ng Pilipinas, walang gagawang pelikula dito. Totoo po yan. Kung tropical lang setting, baka sabihin nila, adu na lang tayo sa Thailand kasi baka magulo dyan. Dahil yung nakikita natin sa news, puro gulo. Diba? Kaya dapat promote din natin yung Philippines na maayos. Yes, uh, Senator Jingoy. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. President. Just to give you a brief background with regard to the uh, Metro Manila Film Festival. The Metro Manila Film Festival was founded by my father in 1975. And it is still ongoing up, uh, up to this now. And before that, there was a Manila Film Festival held every June mm. of the year. It was short-lived because when it June, June, Tag ulan na. Mm -hmm. Hindi na mapasok yung mga moviegoers. But I heard from the MMDA that they are planning to hold a summer film festival. Yun ang maganda. Uh, on the month of April yata. Oh. So we might have two festivals. One is the summer film festival and the other is the uh, summer film festival. Metro Manila Metro film festival. Manila. At during that, those times, especially sa Metro Manila Film Festival, walang foreign films na pinalabas. Panay Tagalog films. Yes, that's the idea. And that is the idea. Yeah. Thank, thank you, Mr. President. I will support that, Your Honor. Thank you. If there is a measure on the floor, particularly. Yes, Mr. President, last but not the least, to make a short manifestation, Mr. President. It's is the princess. The, uh, She's the princess of Philippines. The amazing grace of the Senate, the yes. former chairperson of the Committee on uh, public, uh, information. public Information, Mr. President. Yes. Senator Grace Po, I move that she be recognized, Mr. To President. The distinguished lady senator, the daughter of the king of Philippine cinema, and a very great senator on her own right, nice. Senator Grace Po. Thank you very much for your kind introduction, Mr. President, and to the majority leader. Um, of course, it was not, it's no surprise that this issue is very much uh, important for many of our colleagues here. So many have found their roots in the film and television industry. I, for one, has filed Senate Bill 867 or the Philippine Film and Television Tourism Act of 2022. Mr. President, Senator Tolentino pointed out the benefits of uh, giving incentives so that uh, producers from other countries will think of um, uh, shooting their films here in the Philippines. Let me give you an example, Mr. President. Not only will it provide jobs for our local talents, um, cameramen that they will hire here, local artists that they can get uh, to, to star in their films, but it also promotes the country, as you mentioned. Uh, let's not forget um, New Zealand, 
was made even more popular. I think tourism increased by more than 60% after Lord of the Rings. Yes. There's also the beach uh, that showed that showcased the beautiful islands of Thailand, which we have, I think, if not better, comparable islands. Unfortunately, the Born Identity was at the title of the movie that was shot here showed Palawan rather briefly and in the middle of the ocean, you can't even see the shoreline. So, Mr. President, it's really important. Can you imagine we pay for billboards to be shown in Times Square uh, that showcases the beauty of the Philippines? But with one film watched by not only in cinemas, but also streaming through Netflix, you can showcase the beauty of the Philippines. That's millions of dollars that we save on advertising. So I hope that we pass this um, Film Tourism Act, uh, the details of which I will not get into now because I know that we have a very important measure to sponsor today. Uh, but I also would like to say that um, a lot of uh, the workers in the film industry are really hard pressed now uh, because of the pandemic that happened. But there are other areas. You close a door, a window will open. Now there's a streaming platform that they are, I think, more aggressively pursuing. So that's all, Mr. President. Uh, thank you to my um, dear colleague, Senator Estrada, for bringing this issue to light. Marami salamat po. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Yes, President. Just last point, Mr. President, as uh, it was mentioned several was times, there are so many uh, uh, films from Netflix, uh, series, Mr. President, na kung saan yung isang lugar sa Korea, kunyari, pinakita, naging tourist attraction na, Mr. President. And... Uh, I, I have known a lot of my friends, Mr. President, going to this uh, part of uh, South Korea and I never heard, Mr. President. And if you look at the pictures, hindi naman mal malayong malayo sa kagandahan sa nakikita dito sa ating bansa. So I hope we will uh, all support uh, these initiatives uh, being uh, 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 raised by our distinguished colleagues. Mr. President, a lot of our colleagues would like to uh, 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 participate in the uh, privileged speech of Senator Jingoy, but... Thank <laughs> you.